Okay, so she only has one ability now. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Oh, we don't have enough SP to use them. Yeah. We're okay. only starting with five this round. So let's do targeted shots. Fight. Fathers, human bandits, and beastmen. Black whip. Okay. So we want to do... Everything at once. <laughs> okay, I gotta I gotta get used to blocking. Unfortunately I don't know which buttons exactly correspond to which characters. Okay, so we need to Uh let's see, so if I do power lunge. Well hmm. Crescent Strike would heal. But uh, you guys don't need healing. Yeah, not that badly, so I was gonna leave that for later. Let's have her go there. Spread shots to these guys, and I guess it's only Black Pulse. Okay, so we want to do B, A, X. Ah, uh, they're too far back. Mm -hmm. Now, do they move forward? Ouch. Box yeah. is taking a lot of damage. Uh, blocking is neat, but it uh, it takes a bit of getting used to. Left, right, left, and black, black whip. whip is SP low. Oh wow, we actually have a lot of moves. We just can't yeah, yeah. use them. Okay, well, uh, oh rest. rest. So that will give him more SP for next round. There we go. Okay, so that heals. Did that? Well, I yeah. mean. They're healed up. Yeah, it seems like when they're just chucking knives, I might as well just do everything. Hopefully we get the ability to get a couple more SP along the way here. Oh, I can't do left, right, left either. Oh, that's okay. Uh, Dragon Burst? Oh, Dragon Burst is a single target. Well, we'll try it anyway, because I don't know what it looks like and it seems cool. Okay, so he just... He just does, like, a, a flame breath. Out of maybe his hands? I like the combat system. It's it's very unique. It's going to take a lot of getting Ice used to. Ice Immortal and the Bottle of Oil. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I also really like the skill grid system. It reminds me a lot of... Huh. we got a treasure chest down there. I Oh, yeah. Well, we we'll can have come to go back through the brambles and We've stuff. We've actually got a lot of treasure chests around here. All right. So we should probably... Bring her around here. Mm-hmm. We also gotta get... Well, I thought it was Rick that could get the fruit. Yeah. Oh, that's where he throws the dagger? Oh, a little too low. I'm gonna get it. Ah, so close! Maybe I gotta be just a little bit higher. Got there it. There you go. Alright, uh, can I get it? Yeah, there we go. We uh, got a tang fruit. fruit. Yay! All right, so that's a large one, which gives them capacity. I didn't realize this would be one of those where we'd actually be uh, running with multiple characters on the world map. Oh yeah, usually you switch between them and they dematerialize and rematerialize. Bottles of oil. Okay. So he's just stating what he had gotten. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get him out of here. Uh oh. Um, oh, right. There we jump go. Jump up and through. Yeah, sorry. I'm so used to A being. Okay. Oh, so Rick can crawl. Yeah. I, I'm just not used to A, A being interact and B, B jump. I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, so we get Red some bread. Some water. Some water. Yeah, the controls just take a little bit of hello. Whoa, now there's a big guy. Don't look none too friendly either. We better keep our distance until all three of us are pretty close. That way it ain't just me trying to take him on by myself. Alright, so we wanna... Well, there's also a couple more stars up there. Yeah. Uh, is it possible that we messed up? Uh... She can't jump that distance. Or she can! Never yeah, she's mind. got like a kind of princessy float jump. Okay, there we go. So we got all of them, and everybody should be in the area. Here's the question. Can I... Flame breath him? I don't think that did anything. Ah, shoot. I was gonna see if I could jump over, but we have been ambushed. 
Oh. A lot of them. And it's just him because it was, oh, arriving in one turn. Yeah, I, I tried... I tried ambushing and it did not go well. Okay, so we... Oh, wow. I'm gonna try Everyone that. in a row? Targeted shots. And... You need to do some kind of healing move for him at the very least. Yeah. I'm just gonna have him rest. Okay. Oh, wow. That's fun. Yeah, so her fencing... her fencing lunge. Uh, her fencing lunge does, like, kind of neat bonus things. I don't know. Anyway, we want to do crescent strike. Let's take that person out. Spread shots. Now let's just do left, right, right, left. And we want to do black whip on the center. Okay, so start with her. Okay, so hopefully that heals the whole party. Huh. That was effective. Oh, there's the... There's the what? Big guy in the front. Yep. I just realized. Yep. He's still up. Okay. Let's do power lunge. Let's maybe try and take him out. Oh, can't do that. Guess we gotta do spread shot. And... Black pulse. Cool. Okay, so... A, X, 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 X. Kinda got him. Kinda didn't get him. He's pretty beefy. Unfortunately, I really wish their uh, their buttons were like above their heads because I'm still not quite used to. Uh, it's beside their uh, their HP bars. Yeah. Okay. Do we do dragon breath? Okay. So we want to do X. Okay, we got him. Okay. So then it'll just be his small minions. Yep. And we don't seem to be in that big of trouble. That guy, get left, right, left, and get Black Whip. I like how, uh... I like how a lot of the abilities are, like, uh... Um, they have different AoEs. Instead of just being purely single target, if you, like, kinda... put your abilities in good spots, you get, uh... You, get, you, can you actually... hit more people in the back, okay. or, like, laterally and stuff like that. Like, that's a really good, uh, design. Yeah, just in general, I'm actually kind of impressed. Impressed. Okay, so I oh, think you we to... just go to Shivbury. I don't think we care. It seems I arrived first. The other two do not know Shivbury like I do, so I should just wait here. Okay, so we actually have so to. So you do have to gather cart the party them one at a time. All right. It'd be kind of nice if there's a button that you could press that would like have, have your party members kind of come towards you. Okay, so that's the tangle. Yep. Oh, that's cute. They have the little paws. Yeah, that's neat. This is it? If by it you mean Shivbury, then yes. It ain't exactly a palace, but there's still good to be here, so we'll take what we can get. And where are you proposing I stay the night? Perhaps in the open stable stall around the next corner? Come on, Princess, lighten up already. Talk says he knows a guy. We might even have running water tonight. Unless said water is connected to a courtyard of fountains, I'm not impressed. If you beasts do not mind, I would rather make my own arrangements for the evening. Well, my dear, let this evening prepare you for the next several. This journey of yours may warrant the loss of a warm bed for at least a few more nights. Rick, go procure some food and water. Enough for us to at least, uh, for at least three days. Ideally. Whatever means you must. Just this once. Gotcha! As for you, you'll need a proper weapon. Perhaps the blacksmith here can bestow a new blade, or at least sharpen yours for you. My blade has carried me quite far, thank you. Though I suppose a polishing wouldn't be out of the question. And what of you, Tox? The nearest castle town is Skyweather, to the east. I feel that there is merit to reaching out to the Skyweather Royal Guard on your behalf. If you wish, I can see whether my friend in Shivbury would be willing to provide shelter for the night. I hope he doesn't mind housing the three of us. That's a crowd, you know. If you think I'll be sharing a room with a couple of ill-smelling beasts, I suggest you think again. As I said, I shall find my own quarters for the night. 
Hey! Whatever pleases you, my dear. Rick, come find me once you've gathered what we need. Then we shall travel together. Right, see y'all in a bit. My dear, will you be alright on your own? Yes. Thank you, Tox. Thank you both, actually. Okay, rally point save. We'll just do a little bit of town management. So, Brambleside Inn, no vacancy. Talk to Beastman. Or map? Oh, quad pro quo. Play a game of cards with willing NPCs by approaching them and pressing the <laughs> X button. When you see the card icon overhead, use cards from your collection viewable in the main menu to build a deck and challenge your opponent. You've been given a starter deck. Collect more cards by winning them from opponents and finding them in the world. In order to challenge an NPC, you'll have to pay a wager of Gildreds first. Oh, Gildreds. If you win the game, you win a unique prize from that NPC. If you lose, you can pay the wager again for rematch. If you stalemate, your wager is returned. After winning an NPC's prize once, you can play against him or her for fun from then on. No wager, but no additional prize. So you really only have an incentive to fight every person once for Pretty their much. special yeah. reward. How to play. You and your opponent will take turns placing cards one at a time on the board. If a card is placed next to an opponent's card, the numbers on the side of your card are compared to the numbers on touching the side of the opponent's card. If both of your card's numbers are lower, the opponent claims the card. If your numbers are higher, you claim the opponent's card. If there's a tie, one uh, or one number wins and one loses, neither card is affected. Oh, so in this instance, the four would be beaten by the six, but the eight would beat the two, so they would be able to yep. exist together. Now, how do the elements come into play? It'll explain. So, example, cards on your uh, in your control are gold, cards controlled by the enemies uh, are dark, the two numbers on the right side of your card would be compared to the two on the left side. The four would lose to the six, but the eight would beat the two, so there is a tie and no change would be made. Elemental factors. Playing a card of the opposing element gives your numbers a bonus of plus 1.5 during the turn that is played, so fire is good against ice, but only on the turn it's played. Whoever controls the most cards when the board is filled is Whoa, the winner. Oh wait, is it is it fire that beats ice? Because ice also had a yeah, left so, arrow. Uh the the point is uh there are two trump elements, uh element sets. So fire beats ice, ice beats fire, but only on the turn that they're played. Okay. Okay, so let's let's give this a go. I'm actually really excited. These illustrations aren't bad either. They're nice. I yeah. like the moon. Um, but like this reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy IX, and... I, I don't know if I've ever seen a game like this. Final Fantasy IX and Digimon World 3 both had built-in card games that were awesome. Right, but I've, I've never seen a card game with, what, you put them on a grid and there's four numbers and elements associated with them? This is interesting. Okay, so you have favorite deck or use highest cards. Okay, so I have... Cards. Um... So what we can do is, seeing as we've got this whole board to ourselves, we can kind of figure out placement. So I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to toss it in the bottom right. Oh, he claimed that card really fast. But I suppose that's the uh, disadvantage of going first. Yeah. So you need to find a, something that will beat his 2-5, five, 5-3, five, or 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, but I want to be kind of economical with it. Well, you have a 5-5 five, five there. That would defeat the 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. Um... But this You're one... wasting the 7-ish. Here, this is reliable. Okay. So he, but he just claimed... He can take it back. He reclaimed that card. Actually, this is... This is kind of easy. Uh, is there a way for you to claim the two cards on either side of that corner? Uh, yeah, actually. Yeah, let's find one card that does that. Let's see. And if you use, she'd be. And if you use the noxious, the green, it would have more of an effect. Yeah, so she wouldn't be bad, but maybe a bit overkill. This guy would also work. And he would also have a bonus. Uh, no, he doesn't get a bonus in this case, because the Noxious 
you have to match it up against the other element. So but Noxious only gives a bonus against Sky. Right, but those two cards are Sky. No, 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 no. It, the Noxious bonus is only at attached to the... Uh... Oh, that's an interesting question. I think it, it counts right, for the whole card. Actually, well, they're all mine. Oh, so he played a little defensive off to the side. Which really isn't going to go well It looks well like for him. you're never going to be able to reclaim that card. The silver one. But that's okay, because I have so many other cards. Do you want to try to find a way to claim his card? Well, yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, but he claimed that one. Not a big deal. Okay. So this one is here. Okay. Not stalemate it or didn't do it, anything? It, it failed. It failed. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. Take that one. He's not doing so great, but then again, his cards are inferior you're, to mine. You're using the high cards. I wonder how that affects your wager scores. I don't know. Okay, uh... So play something that'll be sufficient against that. Gives me a nice elemental boost, and he... <laughs> he loses. He loses you completely. Win. Woo. All right, and we get 20 Gildreds. Nice. Humans are good at cutting things down. Why haven't they cleared the tines yet? You know, that big scary forest at the other end of the road? That place is dangerous. I'm sure we'll get around to destroying it soon enough. <laughs> so there's a Beltram the Scholar. There's no mistaking it. Look, read closely. The fifth line came true. Uh, Wandering Jad, it's a guy, I think. Okay. A feast of gold. What does that even mean? There's no way. It's not a literal feast. Look, I'll go over it piece by piece. A feast of gold, the golden falcon king, Oramus, sleeps upon a hill. Sky weather is in the foothills of the white cliffs. With me? With you? But a man, he's a king. But still mortal, still a man. Pushed from his highest perch. Falcon King Oramus, pushed, assassinated. The Winged Falls. The Golden King, Falcon King, dead. Okay, so what about the lines and dust bit? Not actual lines, brittle lines, boundaries, borders. Always changing. It's the backlash against the wall. And the beast territory. And the invasion. The lines are always are being erased. Like lines in dust. You see it now? It all adds up. I suppose so, but... But what? I don't know. Could just be uh, just as easily be talking about a plate of pasta, a feast of gold, yellow noodles. Someone knocks it over, gets dirty from the dust on the floor. A great tragedy. <laughs> you just said it yourself, though. I don't know. And what, what about the third line? Life scattered, man's own home. It's describing the integration of beast folk into human society. And the fourth line, the North Path... Oh, wait, no. And the fourth line. The North Path Sea dried up and became a salt flat. Now it's been overrun with those venomous creatures. It's all coming to pass exactly as described. So what does that mean for us? You truly and honestly think that once the Tenth Line comes to pass, the world will just up and disappear? Not if it can be stopped. Not so long as good people like the Lux Guard still exist. You see, I believe we were being tested, strung along to recognize this pattern in the lines, only to fight fate at the end. Sounds like a fantasy to me. A little too neat and convenient, don't you think? I'm still not convinced. So, this is the prophecy. These are the lines. And when the tenth line comes to pass, the world ends. Yep. So, the other lines that have come to pass were what? The king's assassination? Yeah, I'd like to see the full thing without uh, conjecture, just so we know exactly what it is. I'm sure we'll hear it. Mm-hmm. Pardon me, are you the local blacksmith I've heard so much about? That's right. But I've just about closed up shop for the evening. Oh, I see. I'll come back tomorrow, then. Huh. What kind of steel you carrying there? Looks unusual. What do you think? This thing's decorative. A fake. Did you swipe it off somebody's mantle? Uh, yes, actually. I did. Well, it's not a toy. Someone's gonna get the wrong idea if you see... If they see you carrying around any kind of sword, then you'll really be in trouble. It's better than nothing. It's the best thing I could find. Unless you're offering to... Well, it's not the best quality, but it's still metal. Hilt seems to be real steel, at any rate. And it looks like it's been bolted together. I could probably switch it out for a new blade. You look like a girl who's 
seen it rough as of late. Are you in some kind of trouble? Well, that's... None of my business. I know, I know. How about this? I'll put something with a bit of an edge on it for you. But I don't want to catch you swinging around in a crowd. Got it? Yes, I would appreciate that. Anything you can do to help. All right, bring it here. I'll fit something to it and take the wheel for a bit before I close up for the night. Okay, princess weapon level increased. Does our gear increase in level two? There you go. It won't cut through stone, but with a little bit of practice, you ought to be able to protect yourself. Yes, it's perfect. Thank you. If there's some way to repay you... Don't worry about it. Just keep it clean and dry as best you can. It'll last till you find something meant for action. Now, if it looks like it's rusting, you need to... Uh-oh. Are these the Lux Guard or something? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh! Good evening. <laughs> Are you planning on using that instrument? I... uh... I'm sorry, I didn't... Quite alright. I do like to have at least a few minutes warning before I'm attacked, so my <laughs> men have time to prepare. That was a joke, my dear. Uh, right, right. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just your... Lexiolitus is the name I gave myself. Being I am a draconian without a brood that could bestow a proper one. <laughs> you may just call me Lux. It is such an honor to meet you in person. I had heard tales of your presence from the noble folk, but there is just no comparison. The pleasure is mine. You are why we fight, after all, to leave a world <coughs> unspoiled for the next generation and the one after. How are we for time? There were reports of another one just beyond the next highway. The grounds are thick with overgrowth, so we'll need additional time to comb the area. I see. Has the local guard reported anything? The local guard force was on loan for the crown, so they were called back to Skyweather after the incident. Forgiveness, sir. No other leads. <coughs> hmm. Noted. Well, as much as I enjoy being showered with praise, I'm afraid we have business to attend to. These are trying times. <coughs> My dear, trust your blade and your wits, and there shall be hope for you in your trials. Clear skies be with you. And you as well. Let's hope he's not sickly or something. <laughs> Look at how they're trudging. March, march, march. Commander Lux himself, right here in Shivbury. Never thought I'd see the day. Yeah. Place is closed up for the night, but I hear someone down below. Better make this quick and quiet. So he's stealing. Ah! It's the shopkeeper Norris, it's a guy. Hey, you! Uh-oh! Copal, get, get out of here, you thieving mongrel. You failed. Oh, uh, hey, princess. Rick, I heard yelling, was that you? Me? Uh, no, no, I don't yell, princess, never. Could you not call me that out loud in public? In case you didn't notice, I'm in hiding at the moment. Really? Me too. <laughs> what are you... Never mind. So what did you buy me? I'm famished. Uh, let's go meet up with Tox first, yeah? Rick, were you stealing? Oh, look, it's for a good cause, right? He wouldn't even miss it. Plus, you're practically, you practically ordered me to do it. You believe me, right? Not even a little. Well, I flubbed that. Yep. You dropped right to the floor. They're decent quality. They should hold up pretty well. Are you sure she wants boots, though? She sounds high maintenance. The ones she's wearing now are beyond worse for wear. I have a feeling that after a week of travel, she will be glad to have them. Thank you once again, Samson. Doing all all this for someone you barely met. Well, it's your coin. Uh, Jack the Apprentice. Oh, Samson, you still working this late? I need a patch on my robe sleeve here, so I was wondering if I could leave it with. Whoa, whoa! Yeah, I'll take it. 
Just leave it on the counter inside. Uh, but he looks like a cultist. Oh, sorry. And, oh, wait, no. Oh, sorry, and this is Tox. Good evening. Sky's above! It can talk! Oh, he's just never seen a beast man before? That's the easy part. Getting him to be quiet is the real challenge. I... I didn't know you were in cahoots with the Black Draco Mages. What cahoots? There's no cahooting here. We've got history, that's all. You want that patch done or what? But... But... Don't you read your lines! He's gonna kill us all one day! Oh, is he like in the ninth or tenth line Maybe. or something? As like the, a black Draco Mage is going to... Maybe. Okay. True, perhaps, but that day is not today. Talks, hush. Jack, if he bothers you that much, just hand it to me and be on your way. He'll be gone in the morning. You can pick it up then. Hardly. He should be strewn among several pitchforks along with you at his side. Then bring out your pitchforks. See what good they do you. This... This isn't over. Clear skies be with you, Jack. Shut up. That that went downhill fast. You know, you really kind of overdo it with all the black. If you considered wearing white, you might make a better first impression. <laughs> Duly noted. Well, let's talk about the tone. You know that saying about catching more flies with honey? I attract plenty of flies as it is, thank you. <laughs> what? I did say good evening. And I meant it. He started it, you know. You were standing right there. You saw it. I swear by the day, Tox. One way or another, you really will be the death of me. So, let's see it. Not bad. Definitely got a bit of an edge on it now. I need to find some whetstones and work on my knives. Wonder if he's got any lying around. No stealing! Come on, they're just rocks, you know, wet stones. How much could they be worth? Whoa, wow, that's some of your princess magic? Uh, of course it is. Well, are you impressed? Check it out, Tox. Can you do that? You came back. Of course you did, princess. We can't leave without him. I <clears throat> brought you a gift, my dear. Uh... Likely not the standard of clothing you're accustomed to, but I assumed you grew weary of walking through thorns on such thin soles. I hope they fit. Boots? P peasant clothing? Proper for a common worker, perhaps, but for royalty? Hey, give him a break. Very well. I shall attribute your lack of fashion awareness to your beastly standing. For the time being, however... I suppose they will do. Go ahead, put them on. See how they feel. <laughs> Looked like a firefly just flew out of his belt. I was like, <laughs> huh. Well, my dear? They fit. And? And the night is young. I propose we have a civilized dining experience. Oh yeah, you buy it? Indeed I am. I managed to stow away a few gildeds in my shoes when I fled the, from captivity. I suppose you beasts are deserving of a treat just this once. All right, getting rewarded already. I like it. If you insist, most establishments here are still beast friendly. I passed a tavern on my way here, so if you can stand the bustle. I'm game, lead the way. Very well. We should also consider picking up a few necessities along the way. The proper way. Understood, Rick? Okay, new purchase available. Food. More food. Camping supplies, fresh produce, beastly Yesterday's mementos. garbage? Uh, what? <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, I read that as cabbage, cabbage and I was like, alright, yesterday's cabbage. <laughs> so, Ben Gilda's command. Oh, okay. New tutorial training. Improve your attacks and defenses by using items and training your characters. Open the main menu. Training. Party member, go with the princess. You'll collect dozens of items on your adventure. Every item has many uses in training, specialties, power flows, and more. For training, every character can use items differently and improve different aspects of their battle performance. What's up with you? When I read too fast, I get hiccupy. <laughs> Diaphragm. Yeah, Diaphragm. the flashing white square is your cursor. It's over the study box right now. You can normally use directions to move the cursor around between different parts of the screen. Right now, though, let's start training. 
uh, press the confirm button to begin. Okay, your inventory appears like so. Each item will affect a different aspect of your training. Press the confirm button to continue. For the princess, training is either for slash attacks or lunge attacks. Training will increase the effectiveness of all attacks of the same type. Mm. When you point to an item in your inventory, the type of training will turn green, as seen here. In addition, the specific skills get that benefit are highlighted in the skill cards below. Let's use an item to train now. Press the confirm button and choose the item in your inventory. This is a freebie. freebie. So this is going to improve slash attacks by some amount. Okay. The princess slashing ability is increased. When the big bar fills up, her ability level increases, and all slash skills gain a big boost of damage. The number of times you can do this is limited by your weapon level, as shown by the small number to the far right of the box. Increase characters' weapon levels to train them further. Note that the bonus bar increase. The bonus bar increases every time you train, and adds more damage to your skills. A full bonus bar is like having a whole extra training level. However, the bonus bar decreases after every battle, so use your items wisely if you want to keep it topped off after each battle. Train often to get the most out of it. The princess can also use certain items to increase the length of her defensive pose in battle. Unlike other types, this one can't be leveled, and increases after every battle. Otherwise, it's trained the same way as the others. Training has a price, shown by this bar. Think of it as a stamina or fuel. Any An item's rarity determines the cost to train with it. If you don't have enough of the bar remaining, you can't train with that item. This bar slowly refills after battles. It will also fill when large power fragments are collected by the character in the world. Hmm. Okay, the other characters. So, Rick. Uh, direct and throwing attacks. You like your throne attacks, don't you? Similar. Ah, uh, it's because it hits multiple enemies. Mm -hmm. Sort of? I don't know. Anyway, Rick's defensive move cannot be trained. Unlike the others, Tox's training depends on the weight of the item, not its shape. Tox trains his non-elemental black magic attacks with heavy items. This improves damage with non-elemental magic. It can also improve the duration of his teleport dodge by using lighter items, allowing him to avoid damage for a longer time. If you ever need a hint, press the menu button. Gotcha. Okay, so that's it. I bet we're gonna forget to upgrade them every once in a while in this game. I'll probably remember. Okay, I'm gonna go save because, wow, we're spending a lot of time in town. And this is actually a great ending point for episode two, so we'll pick everything up Aw, but the next tavern! One. I know, I know, we'll get through it. I might also reload and properly rob that guy. Maybe. Mm. I don't know. It's good practice. I was just kind of confuzzled because Rick's jump is really, really low compared to everybody else, which is weird. I don't know.